Welcome back. When and then hopefully if Naga can have will have well, should have a very solid lane, you get Manta Diffusal, you can move across the map. Again, Naga get high armor, right? Buys uh, butterfly can deal with the PA in those early engagements. Like, just... Enigma's problem, I believe, is they focus primarily on heroes that need items on Weehar and Miracle, and then they play off of mind control. Like Beastmaster's getting a ton of farm. I mean, this oh, is yes. gonna be one of the fastest necro books. He's not going for Helm of the Dominator, just oh, straight into goodness. the necro book. Yeah, this is gonna be online in the next minute or so if this this lane sort of continues to be like this for Zai. An insane amount of farm. Down bottom again, map two and yap. So they're on the hunt for GH. So there they go with the fade bolt. Destruction holds back the PA Corona. Mind control trying to head over, but GH is getting low. Another dagger flies across. Puppy looking for the blast. GH will get clipped by it. Seek but get first blood. Taking down the Shadow Demon. See if Nigma can get anything in return. They're trying to look towards Yaps or Matu's able to cover cover it, make sure that they cannot get round into towards the Rubik. And now they can actually turn secret and try and punch back a second time into Nigma. Refill the mana of Matsumba Man as he jumps in. A second down on this bottom lane. If Knoxville is listening, he is. I want to see it. it. You well, know he is? All right. I'm sure he is. He always is. He doesn't miss a game. But yeah, Zai with this incredible necro book timing. And as I say, you know, sure, Miracle can sort of say, hey, I don't want to play the lane. I can get to the jungle. But Zai's going to put some pressure onto that tower. Kuro, he's back to business. Did manage to snipe himself another courier. Was able to find the Timber Mans. Bottom lane, Nisha has come in with this rotation. Weehar's getting low. Nisha's still got the Sonic Wave. But oh, Weehar does get it out. He does go down, though. The mids trade their lives one for one. I love this. We are the first to fall. Comes towards mid. Necro book out once again. They'll start to push onto the tier one. They're taking away a, a lot of the map from Nigma. Uh, quite, quite early on here, Secret. So the timer is ticking for Miracle to to try and get these first key items done before Secret's taken too much of the map away from Team Nigma. Zai, go for the easy roar onto the SD. Doesn't want to let GH get out of that. Oh, we he is in trouble. If Queen of Pain has another blink, he has it's enough up. mana with the one for a full combo. Here they are hiding him. in the trees. He turns, nice. puts the combo on Kuro, Kuro instead. Yeah, it's got to get a little bit of revenge as Kuro, as they are smoked up, looking to make use of Nisha's Sonic Wave being back online. And there it is. The level three Necro done before 12 minutes and 30 seconds by Zai this game. There we are. They're going to jump forward onto Wee. He shows trying to clear out some of the wave for the pullbacks there with the uh, uh, the Wisp. Do have a defensive disruption, but it's not going to save him. It's a quick and easy jump on the SF in the mid lane for Secret. And they can begin to get the push on once more with that level 3 Necro onto the tier 1 tower. They'll take it. Mind control. Pop the, the Primal split. split. Wants to try and look for Zai. Zai getting lower. Blinding Light knocking the bag. Zai turns with a roar onto the Earth Panda to make sure there's no follow up stun. Miracle is going to have to commit the song for the further control. It has allowed him to get on top of Zai. They should be able to get this Beastmaster. But no! Yapsor indeed. He's got the song himself. He puts a stop to what seemed to be a free kill onto Zai. As Zai's given the space to walk out of there. It's a disaster for Nick in the middle lane as indeed Japsaw's positioning are ready to turn things around Nigma over committing believing in the setup of oh, the song it didn't again. work out he's got the setup there but they've got the disable he gets lifted up can he get the fear off he will be able to but he's falling low turns with a raise Matu jumps in Nisha's gonna have another screen there burst him down Matu will die for this I mean Beastmaster's already controlling the map with the level four hawk and now with the necro book units like they will get rid of the any vision from nigma right now they have only one observer board on the map which is not showing anything gonna go for the roar was trying to take away that that's rim of my control is actually still able to pick it up after all back to the mid lane they've taken down we are one spot and now they're gonna try and start moving towards miracle miracle turning but again this hawk from zai giving them full vision of the entirety of nigma's lineup they'll turn with the dagger to mind control he's forced to primal split he really wants to try and make something happen with us he turns towards puppy puppy has been ensnared puppy giving himself more mana to make sure he has another blinding light to knock them back but he will still fall they'll get the keeper of the light the primal split now starting to come to an end, they'll throw up the Nisha. Yeah, once more. 
but they're going to be able to blink forward and chase this if they want. Matsu jumps over towards Kuro. The dust is out. They see the bounty under Sonic Wave. Pushes back Mind Control. The Beastmaster and the bounty taken out. Yapso again. These steals. His every single team fight. We're seeing these massive ultimates being taken by Yapso and used against Nigma to much greater effect than Nigma have been able to use them themselves. Yeah. Next Roche may respawn in 35 seconds. Nigma knows something is up. And they're gonna smoke. Now, we've already got mind control. Starting to jump onto Puffy. Um, with Miracle and the wrap round, they should have a good shot at taking down this Keeper of the Light. Puffy does nothing bad with the blinding light and has dropped the Will of the Wisp. But in come the raises. And Puffy is one raise away from falling. It's not even needed. Miracle will be able to take him out with the right clicks. They get the kill. Puppy buys back immediately. At the same time, they go to the back lines. They were able to take out Karoma's much raw. Puffy's out. Zai is going to be able to turn. Frog X is out trying to clear out the primal split from Mind Control. And the Mind Control primal split, it's dying. He is going to die through the primal split. The Sonic Wave knocking back Miracle. We are just melts in the pit. It's a double buyback for Nigma. Miracle's in trouble. Silence lifted up by the telekinesis. He will fall. No buyback available for the Naga Siren. So despite the two buybacks from Nigma, it's still going to be very hard for them to do anything because Miracle is dead for 40. GH is going to try for the TP out. They got the damage. They do. Matu's able to jump in, slice him up. But even if they do, Secret Matu, level 18, Deso, Basha, BKB, Nisha, level 19, there's Maelstrom, Orchid, BKB, 2,700 gold as well in his pocket. That's a lot They're of items that racks. you just said. Yeah. And we are, he pops the BK. They were trying to go for some coming into a Requiem, but we are, he just died in a couple of crits from the this PA. This is what we call a B kick B. Yes. Yes, indeed. This game, not one of Nigma's finest. It was a rough one. A secret. I've just destroyed them. When Miracle sends the illusions, Nisha just uses a scream of pain. Poppy lowers the cooldown. Another scream of pain. They instantly clear them. Feels good to play for like one, two, three minutes. And uh, I wanted to play it like after this series is done. Now I changed my mind. <laughs> It's been a rough one. He did get the couriers though. We did see a few couriers die at the beginning. But other than that... Oh no. There he goes again. We are popped in a couple of hits. Off he goes. He's dead. Nisha sets up with the Sonic Wave on Miracle. Miracle is able to pop up with the Manta, but they jump across. They kill him out. But the buybacks are coming out. GH, he's not a man to give up. He's still holding on. Another song from Yap. So he's coming with the encore. The crowd goes mild as everybody is staying at home for social distancing as they should be. <laughs> and that's it. Game is over. To abuse the Storm Spirit pick uh, for quite a long time until he gets that sixth. <sighs> okay, this doesn't look too great <laughs> as well, but. Let's go game three at least. Blizzard Let's, just out on the I wild just, I just want them to win one series. It and as you say, just the harass trading with Miracle, despite Miracle having the Fury swipes. And Miracle's gonna try and commit here, jumping forward with the Earth Shock. Roll forward for GH. Did ever find the slow on to Matu? Matu needs help. The Fisher is out, and Matu, he's gonna live. Yeah. It's also an indirect nerf where you don't like get magic resistance from strength anymore. So that's also a third it nerf. Tenton onto Puppy. Puppy, they will get Reaper. They'll get the Oracle. So there's a support down. Nisha's able to zip in and take out GH though before he TPs away. Kuro also potentially in trouble. Yap so had got a Fisher for eight seconds. Kuro will just try his best to charge out of this. Now four for one, secret. Starting to get a little bit of an early lead, 1k up. Nigma are trying to play their strengths here. Both we are and Mind Control are strong. A secret, they're gonna move in. Onto oh, Mind Control, Mind Control tries to sell to Crepify, but he just gets popped through that as we are also blocked off by Zai with the Ghost Shroud and the one charges. He is back up to full. Kuro charging in onto Puppy. Puppy being the focus, Puppy. Uh, but it fades Edict himself as Nigma cannot dive any deeper for the Oracle. So there's gonna be a very fast Necrobook 3 once again. Yeah. Then you have another way of like dispelling things. On oh, mid. Nigma still playing around with Secret despite having already taken that objective. Both GH and Weeha remained in the area. 
And all that ended up was giving Nisha another kill. He's 2-0-2. The DD room will get denied. Matu trying to chase him with the ultimate. So I cutting across, able to slow down Weeha with the chakra on the roof from Puppy, holding him within it. Weeha will fall. TP's come in, but Miracle's got to get out of it. A secret off the back of that kill. They'll try for the tier one. TP's are coming in. Zion position to start the fight off though. Enigma do try and come in. Mind control. The trees are cut. It'll drip down the wall. Roll forward from GH. Drops the art onto Nisha. Nisha getting low. Fate C Dick will protect him from some of the magical damage. He tries to turn and punch back. Kuro continuing to persist and stay on top of the storm, but he's taking too much damage. The spirit breaker goes down. GH gets cut across as well by Zion. Moving in with a cheeky ironwood tree play there to set up the timber chain. Miracle. He's heading across. He's got his phase boots, but that is all at this stage of the game. Still many eyes items that he needs to be any threat to Secret's heroes. Matu is taking this tier 2 top 12 minutes in. Enigma's got to do something about it. They're coming in now with the TPs. Matu popping the ult in an attempt to escape, and he'll be able to run his way away from Weha. Turns over towards Kuroki. Kuroki being healed up by Mind Control. The Necro books, they're just doing so much damage. They have to decrepify. Mind Control tries to keep him safe. The puppy steps up with the Purifying Flames. Nukes down Kuro. Over to Miracle they go. Miracle popping the ult, retreating as well, as Matu continues to just micro his ult that is messing with Nigma so much. We are is now out of mana. They do get the Earth Spirit ult off, turning to War Japsel, but the fish is out. Miracle dies. He has no ult to rely on. We are continuing to just get beaten down by Matu's summons as Matu's micro oh just God, destroys Nigma. GH is trying to escape, but you cannot run. Matsu comes over with those level three Necros as GH will almost certainly fall as well. Matu dominating. Like, who's gonna scale? If you go lads, you're not gonna... Even if you have, like, Basher at the moment, it, it could change things a bit, but he has a hundred gold in the bank. A good try go on, Matsu. They do manage to find him, and he's just able to zip across in time. Matsu getting low, they've got the Reaper side, they'll finish him off. It's a big kill for Nigma. They do get the Lycan. Can they try and chase for more? Yeah, look at the Wajab saw. He's not able to kick out with the Boulder Smash, though. Still on cooldown. Nisha. Still having a bit of a poke at Nigma from the sidelines. The board is down, so he does have to respect that a little bit. Miracle stepping away from his team. He's getting burst. It has the ult. Turns over to Warsman. Puppy still has false promise available to save whoever gets gone upon. GH is in trouble. They'll zip forth. The Fisher clipping Miracle. GH taken out by Nisha. Over towards Miracle they go. He's got no ult to rely on. Nisha gets the double kill. Over towards Weeha they go. They may have killed Matu, but they're paying big time with two heroes down. Yapsil drops a slab. Triple kill for Nisha. The buyback comes out from Kuro's eyes. Starting to disengage, the mana is low. Just lock them off at Fisher. That's He's it. Done exactly that. The buyback from Kuro won't allow Nigma to find anything in return. I mean, I, you, you've got to look at this. Look at this. He absolutely shakers KDA. He's 1 1 and 70. This is a man who was level 1 at 6 minutes, and he's been involved in 18 of the 19 kills the Secret have had. The, the amount of moves and involvement that he's had has been insane to step this game off. Bottom, Puppy will be found. There's a three man Fisher again from Yapsaw. They try and move in onto Matu. Matu stepping back with the ult. Can they actually do anything in it? But they've got five heroes. They've killed off Oracle. Can they get anything else out of this? Kuro charging onto Matu. It's underneath the tower though. Nish is able to zip across, pull Kuro back into tower range. Kuro will fall. Him. That's a dive. Oh, I know. They're pinging out this ward in the lane. Also, Team Secret is so strong right now. He's on the hunt with his invis. Maybe seeing if he can find a quick grab. Miracle, can he burst him? That's the question before Miracle get the, get the off. He's going to try. He pulls him in. Miracle's low. Does get kicked back. The silence was there for the air sprint to stop the Nisha, and they are able to turn. They get Nisha. Very, very nice silence there from GH. He was able to breathe's complete. See what he does start building to next. Just trying to buff up this this five-man team fight that Nigma have in a way that he can keep his heroes alive. They do a lot of damage on Secret. They're gonna need a lot of sustain. Eyes onto We Are Matsu's with the chase. There's the block from Yapsaw. Drops down the fish here. We are able to get the cut out. He'll back up with the dispel there. Takes it off. We are falling low. Kuro tries to help, but there's no saving the We Are Necrophos as he falls yet again. Kuro also to go down. Zip across for Nisha. He's still got mana to play with as GH also caught out. Right Three dead again. Like... Mate, we can dream. We can hope for it. He's just trolling. He understands the position he is in right now. No, no, no. This is some, you know, so this is it, huh? Five head play. Uh, as we are. Fisher's out. Kuro's gonna try and charge across, get the market. But there's Yamsaw in the three man slam. 
keeping his game as beautiful as ever. Another beautiful jump and mind control. He'll try and drain Puppy, but Puppy's able to put a stop to it with a fate seeding. Fisher's out once more. Mind control. He'll fall. There's four dead on Nigma. G8 is also at their team wipe. It, it, it's been a well, I say it's been a rough series. It's been a rough tournament for Nigma. Yeah, it's really not looking good. <laughs> good for them. Also, this was a fight with Storm Spirit to oh, finish sure. Bloodstone with Arcane Rune. That's how you farm Battle Fury. You try to kill oh, the ports in the back lines. Yeah. Oh, you said they were keeping their spirits high. I think they were keeping their spirit dead. Spirit Breaker dead. Yeah. I mean, as you say, how much, how much money has he got to go to farm the Battle Fury? Let's, let's look at the positives. He's... 400, 580 gold closer towards the Battle Fury. Oh, he's dead again. Okay. All right. He's 500 gold towards the Battle Fury. Mind Control is dead. Nisha is going to live. We are going to die. Gonna get the kill. Oh, he's turned. Oh, he's, oh, he's, oh, he's there. We go. Oh, no. That is just styling. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, to be fair, maybe dying is actually good for him because if he's dead, he can't die when he's dead, and when he's dying, he's losing money when he dies. Wow! Wow! I think it just uh, broke the game, Owen. Whoa! This is a combat lacoste. What the hell? Um, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's not a combat. Just kidding. Just kidding. It's not. There's no combat to be had here. I mean, it, it is not. time to it call it. Yeah. 25 bloodstone charges. Well, come on. I want to see it buy back from Kuro. Charge in. Just give it one last hurrah. Come on, Kuro. Just charge him. Oh, Nisha jumping in onto mind control. Oh, the slam from Yapso. He's had his fun this game. Too. I mean, in his head, he does. He's he's like, guys, why do you keep stealing my kills? Oh, they're going for a wraparound. Oh! Nigma, they're ganking the side lane creeps. Check this out. They're ganking the small cap. <laughs> now, where are they going? What's the, oh! They're Wait, no, going, they don't know! Oh, it's light. a trap! Hey, no. Oh, it's a trap! Oh, Matsu, he wasn't ready for this! He didn't expect that one bit! This is what you get for leaving us, or we kicking you, whatever happened. Gigi, that's what they've been waiting for. <laughs> that's all they wanted to do this game. <laughs> the trap was set. Oh, and the game is up. Well, I didn't think it could get worse than game one. It did Lacoste.